Welcome back everyone, Bigfoot here. Today I am going to test and compare two different types of water filters that have both received many accolades. The most prestigious being the Backpackers Editor's Choice Award, the first being the Sawyer Squeeze, which received the award back in 2012, and then the second, the Catadine Be Free Water Filter that received it this year in 2017. So let's take a look under the hood and see how these compare against each other. So let's talk about everything here from left to right and what I'm going to be doing. So this is the typical water bottle in the size that I bring with me on the trail because it's 20 ounces and it's easy to mix with my favorite drink, which is Gatorade. Anyway, uh, I'm going to test how the flow rate varies between the two using this 20 ounce water bottle. Now, I got a couple of things over here with the Catadine Be Free. This is the one that I've been using for over 200 miles. I took with this with me on the Spear Hiking Trail. So it's had some usage and I probably have filtered somewhere in the neighborhood of 100 uh, liters of water out of this. And what I did is I bought a brand new uh, filter because I wanted to show you what it's like right out of the box when you get it and what it looks like, at least for me, after about 100 liters and what and how the flow rate is affected. And then this is the Sawyer Squeeze, of course. Now, this is relatively new. I probably have only filtered maybe like 10 or 15 liters of water out of this thing. And uh, this is not the one that I brought with me on the Appalachian Trail. I actually got rid of that because it was in pretty rough shape after the trail. I wish I would have kept it now because I think it would have been great. And then I could kind of contrast what the Sawyer looks like and, and do a visual after you've filtered many, many liters of water out of it comparing to the Be Free, but I will basically do uh, three different tests here. The first test, I'm gonna show you how the Catadine holds up when it's a, a brand new filter. And then the second test, I'm gonna show you how the Sawyer holds up. Again, this is relatively new with a brand new filter in the flow rate. And then I wanna show you what the Be Free water filter looks like Again, after, for me, 100 liters and what and how that flow rate changes. After that, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna talk about what I like about each of the products and then what I dislike about each of the products. All right, so what we got going on here first is we're gonna test the brand new water filter right out of the box, show you what the flow rate looks like when this thing has been uh, never used, and then we'll compare it to the Sawyer. So what I'll do is I'm going to use, again, this 20 ounce bottle. I put a permanent marker line on here and I'm gonna start it when I start filtering and then I'll stop it once I hit that black line on top. Now, I'll probably have a little bit of a leg, but you'll get the idea and we'll be pretty close. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see here, it is really fast. All right. Oop. Definitely under 10 seconds. Uh, you know, I stopped a little bit late and I was just under that, but you get the idea. I would say it's probably very close to nine seconds to fill this thing up, which is extremely fast. Now it's the Sawyer Squeeze's turn. I have a full liter of water in the Sawyer Squeeze bag with the Sawyer Squeeze attached. And uh, we're gonna do this the same way. Now what I'm gonna do is before I start the stopwatch, I'm actually going to insert the squeeze on the top because it does take just a couple seconds for me to do that. I don't want it to uh, go against its time. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I went a little bit above the line. We're at 19.82 seconds. I, I stopped it a little bit late, but you know, for the benefit of the doubt, we'll call it 18 seconds. The Sawyer squeeze here, which again, this, this does have a little bit of trail miles, but not, I probably haven't filtered uh, too many liters out of this. Again, if I had to take a guess, it's probably somewhere in that 15 to 30 liter range, uh, probably on the lower end of that. But we're able to get somewhere in that 18 to 19 second range, which is about twice the amount of the Be Free right out of the box. On to our last test. This is the Catadine Be Free water filter that I used last week, uh, a couple weeks ago on the trail. It's got over 100 liters of filtered water through this, and we're gonna check what the flow rate looks like once you're north of that 100 liters, at least for me. So, same rules apply. Let's get started. 
So as you can notice, there is a noticeable difference when you go from the last one to this one. We would have already had this filled from the last water filter that we used because it only took us about nine seconds or just under. And we're done. So I'd say this is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 seconds. Uh, so we kind of compare this from the Bee Free to the, uh, the Sawyer. This one took us about 20 seconds. And again, that was on a relatively new water filter, whereas one that's had some miles on it and filtered quite a few liters on it uh, was about 10 seconds slower. So anyway, uh, that's the difference of the three. Let's go ahead and go more deeply into what I like, what I dislike, and talk a little bit more about the flow rate. All right, so let's talk about the Bee Free water filter. So I wanted to show you first a comparison. This is the brand new filter that had that nine second insane flow rate. This is the older filter, and it's probably gonna be difficult just with the lighting, but uh, I think you can kind of see just how much whiter that the, uh, the one that is brand new, which you'd expect, looks like after one that's had some use, you know, call it 120 liters through this. So let's talk about what I love about the Katadyne water filter. First and foremost, the thing that I love the most is just the opening at top. It is so much wider than the Sawyer Squeeze. So let me show you what a Sawyer Squeeze bag looks like and compare that size, which is about the size of a nickel, and this, which is bigger than a half dollar. I mean, that's that's crazy. So this is a big deal because when you're out on the trail, it is really difficult sometimes to be able to catch water. You know, on the average day, you're probably filtering at least eight liters of water. So it's very common and becomes quite a nuisance with these Sawyer bags compared to this Catanine water filter. So I absolutely love how easy it is to catch water. That's the biggest thing that attracted me. The second thing that I love is the bag. This is a soft flask. So in my experience so far with this, seems like this holds up better than the Sawyer bags. I'll talk about the Sawyer bags in a little bit, but also seems like it's easier for me to push the water through the Catadyne water filter. Uh, easier grip, easier way for me to fold it down because it just conforms to anything. And of course, it's very easy to be able to store and stow anywhere because it can break down to literally nothing, whereas the water bags look a little bit different. So those things are great. The other thing that I love, you know, when I first got this and really was looking at the flow rate, I mean, the flow rate is insane. Nine seconds or a little less to be able to fill up a 20 ounce bottle. You know, when you're looking at a liter of water, you're probably looking somewhere right around 15, 16 seconds, which is insane. So the, the flow rate is great. And the other thing that I love about this thing is you can do this on the go. So when I was on the trail, the spear hiking trail, what I would do is I'd pull this out of my side pocket, take the filter off, I would get and catch water as I walked by the river or the lake, wherever I was, but it would take me two seconds to fill this thing up, maybe three seconds, put the filter back on, and then I would be able to, as I walked, filter this thing into my 20 ounce bottle. So this was really convenient, really great to do on the go, saved me a ton of time. I bet you this saved me probably about maybe seven minutes every single time that I filter water if I just, you know, kind of took what and how long it would take me using the Sawyer Squeeze. So this was great. Now let's talk about what I don't like about this. Uh, the first thing I don't like about this is obviously the fact of flow rate changing so much from a brand new one to uh, one that's got relatively not a ton of, of mileage on it, you know, 120 liters, that's not, it's not that much. I mean, you know, that's just a few weeks on the trail for, for a lot of people. So uh, that's one thing that is a little bit of a concern to me. Another thing that I noticed is you do, when you screw this on, you got to make sure you screwed on just right because the filter will have a tendency of leaking if you have the threads just off just a little bit. So it uh, is really important that you do get the threads matched up and squeeze or turn that on, but uh, seemed like it was a little tedious sometimes. And then the thing that I really like 
the least on this filter is how you actually clean the filter. So to clean the filter, you're going to fill about half of the filter bag up with water. And it tells you right on the back here just how you do this. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna shake this. What you're doing is you are putting pressure on the, the filter to try to just dislodge any remnants of stuff that's stuck in your filter. So it is a little bit work to shake this. And when you get done shaking it, what you'll do is you'll, of course, pour out all the water and then you dip this, just like they show right in the picture, dip this in your stream, the river, you shake it around, swish it, and that basically cleans your filter. So it's really easy in terms of cleaning the filter, uh, depending on how much you wanna shake this, but it's just not as effective as the method of filtering it when you're looking at your Sawyer Squeeze and using your plunge, or what a lot of people do is use the uh, top of a smart water bottle onto the, the uh, top of the Sawyer filter. So it is not as effective in my opinion uh, as the Sawyer Squeeze, which I think, you know, kind of just seeing the decay of the filter and how much slower it is than the brand new one probably has something to do with that. Now, I just, I did notice that it is really important that you do a good job with shaking this thing. I had sometimes a really slow flow rate, so I had to stop and uh, shake this thing for about five minutes uh, so that I can just get a lot of the crap and stuff out, which you'll see it floating around in here, but you do wanna make sure that you do a good job with shaking the Bee Free water filter. So really, those are the biggest things, the likes, dislikes. Now, the other thing about the Bee Free, this is good for a thousand liters of water. So uh, big difference between the Sawyer filter because this thing is good for 100,000 liters of water. So that's, that's a big range. So you'll be replacing this more often. It really depends on the water, how bad or how good the water is that you are filtering it from. First thing that I love about the Sawyer Squeeze is even though that this was slower than the Bee Free out of the box, the flow rate still is great on this thing. And I was so impressed when I first got a Sawyer Squeeze. I used to have a pump filter before this and what an upgrade that it was. So the flow rate is still really great on these Sawyer Squeeze. Now, the, the next thing that I love about the Sawyer is the cost. This goes for somewhere in the mid 30s to maybe 39 something dollars. The, the Bee Free is maybe just a little bit more. I think it's $45, but the cost compared to your old style pump filters is about a third of the price. So that is really, really nice. Next thing that I love about the Sawyer filter is just the simplicity of how you unclog the filter. So again, you're putting the plunge in, in here and then you're just pushing the water through here and uh, just basically flushing out the filter. And again, if you had your smart water bottle, what a lot of hikers do, they don't even bring the plunger, even though the plunger is way easier, but they're trying to save an ounce. And they'll use the top of their smart water bottle, stick it in there, and then they'll just push the water through there. You can see the water coming out there, and which is what I did on the Appalachian Trail. You don't have any issues with this touching an area that's contaminated because only clean filter water is coming out of this end. So again, that's just another feature that I like about the Sawyer filter. So those are the, the big things that I'd say that uh, I really like about the Sawyer filter. What I don't like about the Sawyer filter, my biggest complaint to start off with is the actual Sawyer bag itself. I would go through these Sawyer bags, I would say a about one every maybe 150, 200 miles. Uh, sometimes I might get 300 miles out of these things, but I probably bought a three pack three different times on the Appalachian Trail. I went through like 10 bags or something like that. It was more than I thought. And, and what you're, the problem you're gonna have is right up here is where it splits. And it really depends on how good of a job that you're doing with plunging this thing, flushing it out. But if it's getting clogged and you're putting a lot of pressure on the Sawyer bag with trying to push the water through fast, then that's, uh, that's where it's gonna break in those two places. So Sawyer bag is just not the most practical bag. Other thing that I had mentioned, I, I really hate this. This is probably the thing I, I hate the most is just how small that the, the neck is to catch water. Uh, this is a challenge 
you definitely have to make sure that you have a little catch cup to be able to uh, catch water and throw it in here because there's some times where this just won't even work. But it is a lot more difficult to catch water, which, you know, usually you are in a hurry or you don't want to sit around for a long time catching water. So that's, that's a big deal for, for hikers. Uh, another thing that uh, I, I don't like, and this is, you know, this can go for any filter, and this is more of just something you have to be careful, but you want to make sure that this thing doesn't freeze, or if it freezes, it's going to crack the filter, and it's basically useless. But, but again, that's going to really go for any filter that you want to make sure that you are watching for. And the last thing that I'll say about the Sawyer Squeeze, and I would have never said this until I started using the Be Free, but the, the, the Sawyer Squeeze is really difficult to use on the go if you're filtering out of the actual Sawyer bag. Like I said, I could basically be able to filter using my Be Free and how convenient it was with how it breaks down with the soft flask and filter in my 20 ounce bottle. Uh, with this, very, very difficult just on the go. Now, one of the advantages that you do have in this that I forgot to mention is uh, that you can go ahead and just screw this on any water bottle and then just drink straight from the water filter itself. I never really did that. A lot of our hikers do do that, but uh, for me, I just wanted to get all of it filtered and not have to worry about doing this, and especially if this thing was starting to get clogged and had a slow flow rate, uh, that would just piss me off. But, but anyway, that is something that you can do of course, with the catadine, you can just drink straight from this. You don't have to screw any filter on because this is the filter. So uh, that has an advantage on the Sawyer squeeze. So those are the big things that I dislike and what I like about both products. Now, they do make a mini squeeze of the Sawyer. It's going to cost you about 60% uh, of what you pay for this thing. Now, the full rate, though, is going to be terrible compared to the Sawyer Squeeze. At first, it's going to be okay, but once you get some liters, and, and especially you know, 50, 60, 70 liters out of the Mini Squeeze, you will get really frustrated with how often that you're going to have to plunge the Mini Squeeze. Would not recommend getting the Mini Squeeze for a long distance through hike. If it's just like a, a weekend backpack trip, probably okay. But for a long distance through hike, you're probably going to get very annoyed with how often you plunge it and the slow flow rate. But definitely go with the regular Sawyer squeeze. It's going to be an ounce more, but you're not going to have to plunge it as often. And the flow rate is just overall just much faster, which you are going to care about that on the trail. Okay, well, that wraps up the contrast between the two. What I personally like about each one and the things that I don't like about each one. So what do I recommend? Well, I use the Sawyer Squeeze with me during my entire Appalachian Trail through hike, all 2,200 miles. And I've only put maybe 250 or so miles on the Be Free. So there is a significant difference being this only using about 10% of what I've used the Sawyer Squeeze. But based on the things that I like, I actually prefer the Be Free water filter just because of, again, that really wide opening that just makes it so much easier for me to be able to catch water and the simplicity of me being able to really do this on the go, which a little bit more difficult with the Sawyer Squeeze. You know, the, the one big element here is this is only going to last you what they say on their website, a thousand liters, and this is good for 100,000 liters. So you're going to get more use out of this, but you do have a lot more simplicity. And this is, in my opinion, a lot better with just kind of on the go. So for my adventures, this is something that I am going to carry uh, over my Sawyer Squeeze. And I'll report back to you guys just how this holds up as I get more miles and get more liters of water through this to see how it impacts and affects really the flow rate of the Be Free. Well, that wraps up, guys. If you've had the opportunity to try out both of these, would love to know your opinion. Or if you have a separate water filter that you really like that has held up really well out there on the trail and is simple, put that down in the comments so we can all learn from each other. Give me a thumbs up if this video was of any value to you. Stay tuned for more sightings here and remember to always follow Bigfoot. <music>